Hey guys, we're back at the course, so that is pulling to one side. We diagnosed it as the ABS control module, but we're back back at the, um, the vehicle because we've already been here. And what we did was we slacked off the line going to the wheel that we suspect to be at fault. And as you can see, that there's no fluid dripping out of that. So we've pumped the pedal and still no fluid. So we've gone to the opposite side wheel and we've taken the line off of that. And as you can see, that's dripping out and we haven't even pumped it. So we already know that there's a restriction of fluid coming to the driver's side wheel. So what we've done is we've clamped down the, the brake pedal to stop any fluid from leaking out. We've um, taken off the rest of these lines, these t eight mils on the back holding the bums, bums into place. And now we're going to send us off to ECU testings to be tested and hopefully repaired. Off to ECU testings, they have sent it back. This year now comes with a, a lifetime warranty with unlimited miles. Whereas if you were got a new unit from the main dealers or a second hand unit, it would have the same fault and a limited warranty. So now we know that this issue will be cured forever. So let's get it back on the vehicle and I'll show you through that process. Okay, as you can probably tell, we've come back and it's raining. Um, which obviously isn't the best of conditions to be entering into the braking system because uh, that brake fluid is hyperscopic and it'll absorb the moisture. So it's very important if you're doing this in the rain, if you can avoid doing it in the rain, is that you try to work as smart as you can to prevent any contamination to this brake fluid. Um, uh, but we're going to do our best that we can. So what I've done is I've slid this brake unit into place. As you see, I haven't put the hoses in yet because it's got these protective tabs on. So we're going to take these protective tabs off one at a time and screw them in one at a time. This one actually fell off when I was putting it on. So that's going to be my first one. For this we're using a 11mm flare nut spanner so we don't cause any damage to the fitting at all. Nice if I had one of those ratchets on ones, but I don't. So I'm gonna save for the painful task of doing this by hand. Now I'm gonna go through the painful process of just that small, tiny turn at a time to find you down firm. So we're gonna repeat the same process with all the lines that go to the wheels and to and from the master cylinder on the top. I guess that's the next one there. Okay, so that's back in there now. It's got a cover to go back on, but I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, each of them would be like a painful quarter of a turn each until the water end up. Got the, the bolt and that to the back here done up, sorry. And the electrical connector put back on. So we've got that cover back on, and we're going to go to the bleeding process. So it's common practice that when you bleed in the system, you go from the furthest wheel, which is this rear passenger side here, away from the master cylinder and then work your way around getting closer and closer every time. Um, but the, the fault with this is that there was no fluid getting to the front driver's side, so I started there just so I knew that the ABS unit was fine. Uh, my pressure beater broke, but I had the MIDI, MIDI backer all the way through. Um, so it was a bit of a painful, long taking process. So I haven't recorded that, but I went from driver's side front, passenger side front, driver's side rear, driver's side, passenger side rear, got as much air as I can. It's quite common on these or anything with an ABS unit that you can't control with a diag. That um, the ABS unit might be hold onto some air. So we're gonna take a quick test drive, see how it is. We might need to do that again. So we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. We just finished our test drive and that drove absolutely beautiful. In fact, I even I am surprised by how, how well those brakes behaved. Um, nice and sharp, uh, no soft spots. The pedal's nice and firm. It's not creeping down or anything like that. So. I'm going to say it's a good one, but I'm going to issue the same warning to the customer that if that pedal gets a little bit soft again, it could just be a little bit of air trapped in the ABS unit that's worked its way to one of the brakes, so we'll do a re-bleed and go from there. Um, but as it stands, drives perfect, it's not pulling to one side anymore, um, fitted properly, the ECU testing has obviously done a brilliant job on repairing that, and uh, let's go get to tell the customer they can have their car back.